Hey everyone, so today I'm just going to be um, doing a get ready with me type video, talk through type thing. I have no idea what kind of look I'm going to go for, but I think I'm going to use my Kat Von D Monarch palette because I've had it for a while now and I haven't really used it that much. Gonna see what I can do with this today. Alright, let's do it. Alright, so I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. Don't even look at how disgusting the bottle is. I've been talking about this a lot lately. It was in my February favorites. And it's just a really nice foundation that I have been loving lately. I honestly, I know that I talk about how much I love Estee Lauder Double Wear. But I think I wear these drugstore foundations more often just because, I don't know, I want to make the Estee Lauder last as long as possible for one. And these are just so easy and like when I go to class and stuff which is what I'm doing today I feel like I don't want to waste my Estee Lauder <laughs> foundation on just like a two-hour class so I don't know you guys feel me anyone else do that so I'm just using this I think this was from a crown brush set that I got a couple Christmases ago it's just a stippling brush like kind of a short fat one um, it doesn't have a name or anything on it but yeah, it came in a set that was like a limited edition set for Christmas. Usually I don't like stippling brushes, but all my other ones are dirty. I feel like this might be the one foundation in existence that makes me look even just a little bit more pale than I actually am. Is that just me or is it just the lighting or what do you guys think? I don't know. So now I'm going to move on to concealer and I'm going to drop it on the floor. So what I'm going to use today is this Master Conceal Concealer by Maybelline, which came out around the same time as the Matte and Poreless foundation, I believe. I don't know. They're both new. That's all I know. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of the Hard Candy Glamouflage, just because this is a little bit lighter than this, and I like to have my concealer be kind of like a highlight as well. I'm just going to dab a little bit of this onto my hand. Honestly, a little bit of this stuff goes a really long way. Same with the Glamouflage, if you guys haven't tried it before. Oh my god, it's crazy. So I'm just going to do like half and half like that. And then I'm just going to dab that to mix it on my hand. Just going to pat this under my eye area. And that's it! <laughs> just kidding. Okay, so I'm just going to dab this out with my finger because I don't want to use a brush today or a sponge because I'm too lazy to get it wet. The bathroom's like 15 feet away. Give me a break. Also just going to take this a little bit on my lid just to kind of act as a primer. This is pretty basic face routine just so you guys know like from a day-to-day -day basis I don't really do anything crazy I just kind of do things in a way to make it more efficient so not every day do I use like a specific primer on my eyes like I don't always use the Max Soft Ochre paint pot for a base or anything like that usually I just use whatever concealer is left over on my finger and that is the truth then I'm just gonna dab a little bit on my chin because I do have some like slight blemishes down here and I do want to like continue the highlighted effect it would look really weird to just have my cheeks be lighter than the rest of my face so you gotta spread it out I'm just gonna dab a little bit on my forehead because I ran out of the mixture that I did on my hand and just gonna blend that out I'm gonna run this down the bridge of my nose just a little bit too I don't typically like do crazy highlight or contouring on my nose just because I don't really think it's necessary but sometimes I just like to drag a little bit of the concealer down. I'm going to let the concealer and foundation and everything sit in a little bit before I powder anything and I'm just going to move on to my lips because I look creepy as hell. I'm using my NYX Natural Lip Liner. This is my favorite lip liner. You guys know that though and I'm just going to outline and fill in my lips. I can't tell, I was just thinking like would I rather go the rest of my life having my eyebrows look like this not filled in or my lips look like this and I don't know if I could pick. Let's see. Creepy. Creepy. I think I'd rather go with my eyebrows not filled in. Just these are the thoughts that go on in my head. Oh also I used my e.l.f. lip exfoliator before I put on like my foundation and everything. <laughs> That looks so weird. This just does, I've raved about this before, but it just makes such a big difference. Makes the products go on your lips so much more smoothly. I'm having one of those days where it's like the whole eyeliner thing that happens when one eye, the wing is like way too big and then you try to even it out and then like that side ends up being too big. That is exactly what's going on with my lips right now. Too big, not big enough. 
But if I keep outlining them, they're just going to look like clown lips. So I'm going to go in and fix this real quick. I wish I never learned about... Okay, I'm just going to stop talking while I'm doing my lips. Maybe that's the problem. I can't tell if that's even, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to pretend like it is. Alright. So the lipstick that I'm going to be wearing over this today is this Maybelline Creamy Matte in, uh, what's it called? 655 Daringly Nude. So, um, I'm just gonna see how it looks. I haven't really worn it yet, so let's see. It's definitely really creamy. Damn, I just realized how many Maybelline products I'm trying out in this video. <laughs> uh, it's not sponsored, I promise. I'm not cool enough to be sponsored yet anyways. What am I doing? What the f all right, this is what that lipstick looks like on. I think it's really a good pair for the NYX Natural Lip Liner. I'm liking it so far. Feels really creamy. All right, let's move on to the eyeballs. So I'm going to cheat on Anastasia today, and I'm going to be using this Pony Cosmetics Eyebrow Powder in number two Palomino. I think it's so cute how there's a tiny mirror in this little eyebrow thing. Like, really, it's so tiny, and I would probably never use it, but you never know. Oh, if you guys have noticed, my eyebrows are a little bit different. I <laughs> I go through these phases where I like to shave off like the outer part of my eyebrow just because I feel like it gives me more freedom to do different shapes for my brow, if you know what I mean. Like I can extend the wing in a more straight shape rather than like arched like it usually is. I'm going to be taking an angled brush that was also from Pony Cosmetics and going to take that shade and just start filling in the bottom part. I usually use Dip Brow, but I'm kind of liking the powder lately because it looks a little bit more natural. This kind of makes me want to get the uh, Brow Pro Palette from Anastasia, just because if I ever like start to build a kit for clients and stuff, um, I would like to have all the different powders that she makes so that I know that I'll have something to match everyone's skin tone and hair color. Now I'm going to take this darker shade called Thoroughbred and I'm just going to fill out the tails of my eyebrows. This is where I like to start making my eyebrow look a little bit straighter by just not really emphasizing the arch too much. Okay, now I'm going to my Kat Von D Monarch palette and I'm taking this kind of skin tone shade right here called Tiny Death, and I'm going to take this on my MAC 217 and just place this all over my lid. So I'm just running this across my lid as a base color so that the other colors blend better on top of it. Now I'm going to take this kind of slate taupey colored matte shadow and it's called Killing Jar. Just going to put this on that same brush and pop it into the crease. And I know this color looks pretty light in the pan, but it is darker than you would think, so I made sure to kind of tap off the excess so it's not too crazy and just lightly, kind of softly blend it in. I'm going to take this really pretty kind of light shimmery pink shade right here on a soft kind of flat brush. And this brush is from Shaney Cosmetics, one of the sets that I got. I'm just going to tap this all over the lid. I'm using patting motions so that it kind of stays better so we don't get as much fallout. I'm going to take this very dark brown over, where are you, where, okay, there we go. And it's called Shadow Box, and I'm just going to take this on a little pencil type brush. I'm going to find that outer V and just place that color there. I'm going to push the color into my lid a little bit as well. Once the color is packed on there, I'm going to take that same MAC 217 and just going to start blending it out. I'm just going to blend it into my crease where we put that first color. I'm also just going to blend it a little bit on the lid. So now to highlight, I'm going to take this highlight shimmery color that's up in the corner up here called Entomology. I'm going to take this on a fat little fluffy angled brush from, I think it's from Costco, it's Kirkland brand. I am just going to... Place this in the inner corner of my eye. I like this color, but it's definitely not light enough for my skin tone to really be a highlight, so I might go over it with something else. I'm going to take my L'Oreal liquid liner and do a wing. I 
Since that highlight's not too strong, or not strong enough, really, I'm gonna take this Nude by the Laura Pro palette. I'm just gonna place this right over the top of where we just put that other highlight, just cause it's not really strong enough for me. And this is a little bit more shimmery. For mascara, I'm gonna be using my L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes. And I'm not gonna do fake lashes today, so I'm just gonna apply a generous amount of this, probably do one layer and then wait for that to dry, and then do a second layer. God, my stomach is growling so loud. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten in like an hour. Am I gonna live? I think for lunch I'm gonna have banana ice cream, which it's not what you think, but you guys have probably seen the fad of like frozen bananas blended in a blender and then adding like peanut butter to it and it tastes just like peanut butter ice cream. So good. If you guys haven't tried it, freeze a couple bananas, like slice it up, put it in your freezer, and then the next day blend it, and you can add like cocoa powder. Why am I going on my lower lashes? I haven't even put eyeshadow down there yet. Should I? Got distracted talking about food and lost my way. And I think I'm going to skip the lower eyeshadow down here. I'm not going to put any down there just because I want my eyes to look a little more bright today, so I'm just going to go right to the mascara on the lower lashes. Okay, now that the eyes are done, I'm finally going to move on to finishing my face. I do everything in such a weird order, but whatever. I'm going to take my Airspun Loose Setting Powder and Translucent, and I'm just going to take this on this flat, kind of angled, shiny cosmetics brush. Why are you shouting? I'm just going to pop this under my eye where I put that concealer earlier, and then down on my chin a little bit, on my laugh lines, and I like to put this, like, between my brows as well, just to kind of soften those up a little bit. And any other area that you might get oily. Quick tip, by the way, if you do not like how shiny your lips are and you want them to be more matte, take a little bit of loose powder on your finger and just dab it over your lips. Now, I like the lipstick how it is, but I just wasn't feeling it today, so I wanted it to be just a little more matte. So yeah, just a quick little tip if you guys didn't know that. Now to contour, which is my favorite part. I'm going to take NYX Taupe Blush and this little round kind of fluffy brush from, I think this was from also, from also, also from my crown brushes kit that I was talking about earlier. And I'm just going to do this real quick. If you guys are seeing like this weirdness that is hair dye staining my face, it's because I just got my hair done. Well, I didn't go into the salon because I don't do that anymore because I'm trying to save money for our trip that's in two months. Yeah, I have gone back to doing my hair at home. Actually, I went home last weekend and had my mom do my hair, but for everyone asking what my hair color is, I was never able to answer because I wasn't sure what my hairdresser used exactly. She mixed like a bunch of different colors together. All I know was that she used the Matrix brand, but this color, I don't know if you guys can tell in this light, it would be better if I showed you in the like natural light, but um, it's really, really similar to how my hairdresser did it. And I was really shocked at how similar it looked when it was all dry and done. So what I used to get my hair this color was Ion Color Brilliance, and I found that at Sally Beauty Supply. I don't know if you guys can find it anywhere else or if you even have that in your area. I used the color Black Cherry, and I mixed that with the color Light Burgundy Brown. I just had the two bottles mixed together, and I mixed it with a 20 volume developer. So yeah, if you guys have access to the Ion Color Brilliance and you've been asking me what my hair color is, that's what I use. And thanks mom for doing my hair. <laughs> What? Dropping everything. Now I'm going to take this blush by NARS and um, not going to say the name because I'm pretty sure my grandma watches these videos, but there you go. And all right, I'm going to do this blush real quick. I'm just going to take a kind of big, fluffy, soft stippling brush and pack this on. And since I don't know where my Mary Luminizer is, still, I'm going to use my Makeup Geek Shimmer Shimmer eyeshadow as a highlight because it's very similar. Honestly, we are in the middle of packing right now because we're moving in 10 days and it is just a freaking shitstorm in the apartment. Does shitstorm mean diarrhea or does that mean like a mess? I hope it doesn't mean diarrhea because that would be really awkward. I'm just gonna say it's really messy in my apartment right now. Let's just retract that last statement. 
Alright you guys, so I think that's it for the look. Thanks for watching this video and getting ready with me. Um, also, thanks to all of you that gave me the really good feedback about wanting to see the videos that I talked about in my last video, like the Battle of the Liquid Lipsticks and the products for pale skin. I'm really excited that you guys want to see those, so those are probably going to be my next few videos and I'm really excited. And yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for watching again and I'm going to go eat my ice cream before I have to go to class. Yep. Alright. Bye. <laughs>